an ant. So small and easy to oversee. And it makes sense, man. Have you seen how small it is? It's literally under a centimeter long. Look at it next to my finger. Tiny. <coughs> Either way, so small and easy to oversee. And yet it has an amazing story behind it. Today, we're taking a look at the life of an ant. From the humble beginnings to the spirit working machine. Now before we can follow the life of an ant, we need to look at the royal highness, the queen. <clears throat> Where is she? Uh, looking, looking, looking. Ah, there we go. That's the queen. This is the queen. She's the life behind the colony as she's the reason they all live. The main job of a queen ant is to sit still and lay eggs. And this is where our story starts. With a tiny egg, a new life starts. This girl is the one we will follow, growing into a hard working ant. You see her, right? Right next to the three white blobs, then go down one and go right once again. Yeah, that's her. That's the one we will follow. Together with all her young sisters, this is where the beginning of a new ant life starts. All these eggs will be the future generation of the ant colony. And at this stage, the egg don't do much, except just laying still. <laughs> I'm suddenly hungry for caviar. Uh, no, just me. <laughs> oh, all right. At this time, our girl's life is in the hands of her older sisters. If they don't clean her, other bacteria or animals may come and eat her and rot her away. The older sisters carefully pick her up, licking her and adding protective saliva around her. The saliva also helps her not to dry to her death. Some species naturally live in high humidity areas, but for those who live in a dry environment, this saliva can be life deciding. At this stage, she always lies next to her young sisters, as if an emergency were to happen, they could all be picked up and moved together. This is also why her fellow sister eggs all stick together. That way, they can easily be moved around. Seriously, I I'm hungry. I'm gonna be right back. I need some caviar. <sighs> Much better. <clears throat> Over the next couple of weeks, she will live in this stage of egg with nothing to do except slowly develop into a tiny larvae. Like a Pokemon, she evolves into a small larvae and this is where the story really starts as she can now move a little bit around. She's now desperately relying on her old sisters to feed her. If she doesn't get the food she needs, she will simply starve to death. To help avoid starving to her death, she sends out a I'm hungry pheromone to let nearby sisters know she's hungry. <laughs> I wonder if my fiancé will come with food if I fart. Um, to be tested. In this larvae stage, many of the same rules of the egg stage stays. She still needs to rely on her older sisters cleaning her, keeping her humid and now also feeding her. She can move around now, but not by much. Only her mouth now turns around. This way, the lazy older sisters can just lay the food by her side and she can eat it herself. Again, timing is key. Over the next few weeks, she will become more and more hungry and eat more and more. Together with this, she will also grow bigger and bigger. An interesting fact is that if her older sisters doesn't find enough food, she may be offered to a sister and become dinner. <laughs> I think I'll feed all my colonies one extra time today. As time passes, she becomes bigger and bigger. For some larvae, they keep growing for a very long time and turns into a bigger ant, being a major ant. But our girl is just a regular sized ant. This also means she's almost ready to go into the pupae stage. As we are dealing with an ant species with cocoons, she will soon start spinning her own cocoon. This is where she starts to build a big house around her. This is a very hard job as she needs to be successful. 
If she fails spinning a cocoon, she will become a naked pupae. This can be deadly for her and she may die if the cocooning fails. Other ant species have developed a harder naked pupae, making them able to survive the harsh environment. But not with our girl. She goes around desperately trying to find any old trash that can help everything stick together. Once the first outside layer is done, it's time to reinforce the insides. She may be inside now, but it's still a long job that needs to be successful. Okay, I can't handle the suspense. Um, can we just skip one day into the future, thank you? One day later, and she was successful. She has now made her house and is now ready to go into the final Pokemon evolution. For the first time since she was born, she doesn't need to be cleaned all day long. She actually needs very little help from her older sisters, except keeping her safe. Together with her young sisters, she's transferred into a new dry and hot nest. This makes her development speed up. Uh, to be honest, I would love to keep talking about this stage, but uh, she's just laying still with no real contact with other ants, so let's just skip a few weeks ahead. A few weeks later, she is finally ready to start her adult life. Her older sister senses she is ready to be cut open. Slowly but surely, she cuts up the old house and luckily another sister is coming to help her. With the roof being ready to be removed and removed, she sees light for the very first time. She still don't know how to move yet as she is getting used to her new body. She can't help much yet as she is still trapped in her old house. With a big pull, she is almost out of the house. Slowly, she is starting to move her body more and more but the house doesn't want to let go. Luckily, a third sister comes to help and takes it all off. And with that, she just needs her body to be warmed up and ready to work. She is now a free ant, ready to start her new life. Um, or, well, soon starts her new life. An ant doesn't have a skeleton. Instead, they have an exoskeleton being on the outside of her body. And as she is just broken out of her old house, she hasn't yet developed her exoskeleton. It'll take another few days for her to fully recover and be ready to explore the world. But in this naked stage, she is ready to get her first meal. With the help of workers outside the nest, food has been brought into the nest and she can now feed on it for the very first time. Over the next few days, she slowly prepares to her new life. As a young worker, it's too dangerous for her to leave the nest. Therefore, she stays home relying on her older sisters to bring food home. But she's not workless. She's now been promoted to ant babysitter. It's a full-time job as there's a lot of babies to be fed and cleaned. Her days of relaxation is surely over. She has now become a hard home working sister. And that's a title I respect. She now spends most of her day cleaning and feeding her young sisters. As she slowly waits for the day where she's finally old enough to go outside. And after multiple months of waiting from a young egg with everything to win, she's now standing in the nest exit for the very first time. Oh, you go girl! With her sensitive antennae, she smells the area for the first time in her entire life. She's now a free roaming ant. Enjoy this new life, girl. You've certainly earned it. An ant. So small and easy to oversee. Nature is a fantastic and wonderful thing. Never forget the small lives in this world.